What's going on, everybody? Master Taint here with another war recap for you from Semper Invicta. Uh, before we get started here, I have some very special personal news. I hit Town Hall 10. That's right. Uh, I am going the 9.5 route. So I did, uh, I gemmed my spell factory to uh, five spells, gemmed my Archer Queen to level 31, uh, but I haven't built any of the new defenses yet. I am, uh, all my gold is now going to be going into traps and walls. I, I did build all the new traps, but no other new defenses. And other than that, I'm just going to be working on maxing out my offense before I build any of the new defenses. I didn't recap our second last war here. I was really busy. I'm sorry. I did get a couple of singles off, if you noticed, but we won the war, no problem. And our last war here, uh, again, not too much difficulty. You can see we were one and two star all of our Town Hall 10s. Actually, two of their top Town Hall 10s attacked me. Neither of them were able to three star. And I'm basically still a Town Hall 9, so that was pretty funny. Uh, and then if you look down the rest of our base here, uh, a, couple two, a couple three stars but really not too much and then you look at the enemy side here we were able to two star all their town hall tens no three stars unfortunately this war and as far as town nine go there were a couple bases that got away from us but we did clean up mostly everything i think there was only four bases that we didn't three star uh, yeah, so we're gonna look at some of the uh, Town Hall 9 attacks here. The upper two Town Hall 9 attacks, uh, one of them was done by me using five spells So it's not really fair and the other one was another Town Hall 10 um, but yeah, so we'll look at the top Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 9s. Uh, two golems come in the bottom here with three wizards in behind both of them. That's going to be able to clean up the entire funnel here. Archer Queen goes in as well, and some wall breakers get him into this compartment with the cannon. And you can see it's one big long compartment at the bottom here, so this golem will walk up. Uh, he's not going to get focused. If it was two separate compartments, the golem wouldn't walk up towards it. Uh, he would stay attacking that mortar until it was destroyed. But uh, yeah. Bad base design means uh, easy to get in. Uh, Lightning Spell goes down here. Barbarian King comes in really late, which is awesome. So the, uh, the CC gets focused on the Golems. Uh, everything gets cleaned up here. Uh, his Archer Queen runs runs the wrong way, but uh, the Wizards are going to clean up the Loons. Barbarian King is going to come here and take out this uh, air defense here. You can see the only possible spots for the Double Giant Bombs are the only logical spots. We're going to be between the air defenses, the air defense and the Mortar, and the air defense on and the uh, Expo on the left. And so now all the path into those Double Giant Bombs has been cleared out. He knows his Hogs are going to path around the top side of the base here so he drops a bunch on the uh, left top and a uh, few more on the back right side as soon as those teslas popped up he drops a heal spell down just to make sure that um the hogs didn't die teslas can really do so, uh, a good number to hogs uh but under a heal spell yeah they're pretty safe uh, so now the entire all the defenses have been cleaned up you can see here uh two of the hogs pop that du one double giant bomb set doesn't even matter he's got so many hogs spread around the rest of the base here all of his sp hogs spread out perfectly that golem is still at full health at the bottom archer queen is still full health in the middle and everything gets destroyed really fast a so very nice job walter white all right, and the next attack we're going to look at today is by Heggers 1 versus their number 11 here. Uh, another hog attack. Actually, all the attacks I'm going to show you today are hog attacks. That's what most of our guys have been doing lately, and I've uh, been really successful with it. So drops in a giant and uh, a couple hogs per defense on this archer tower, cannon, and other archer tower. Uh, it's a pretty expensive lure if you think about it, but he does get out three of the point defenses uh, right off the bat. Doesn't have to worry about them later on. They're not going to mess up his pathing, and he also gets out uh, at least one spring trap there that I saw. Uh, this wizard at the top here, unfortunately, isn't able to take out that dark elixir drill. That would have helped him clean up the funnel a little bit faster, a little bit uh, better but it is far enough away that it shouldn't really affect uh drops in uh two witches his archer queen and two wizards at the top here to take out the enemy cc which was uh, a witch a loon all their ccs are basically the same a witch a loon a couple wizards and some archers um it's always best if you vary up your ccs because as soon as uh, you notice that everything is kind of on the same thing it's really easy to know what you have to bring to take it out it's always best in your clan to have you know a few dragons a few witch a few wizards some maybe even all witches or wizards, you know, it's best to vary it up, have everything uh, going uh, different. Like, everyone should have a different CC. Uh, Barbarian King gets dropped in really late here. It's not as important when you've already lured the CC, but he wants to make sure he gets um, uh, all the all the uh, defenses are attacking the uh, golems here and not his Barbarian King. Ar Archer Queen jumps out to meet them, pops his one double giant bomb location, which is really awesome, and his hogs are already making their way around the other side of the base here. Uh, the way they're going to come across that other double giant bomb set, which is between the expo and the air defense here, isn't really going to matter because uh, of the air sweeper there. That air sweeper is actually really badly placed because it's going to cause his hogs uh, that they're not all going to move towards that expo. Some of them are going to move towards the air sweeper, and he's not going to lose uh, too many of his hogs. Drops in a giant at the bottom here to tank these defenses while the hogs move over. Unfortunately, when that Tesla pops up, the hogs uh, stutter for a little second, and the giant dies before the hogs can get over there. But this heal spell goes down uh, and takes it out. So you 
can see a couple of the hogs jumped up towards the top here to take out that uh, air defense. Luckily, one of the golems had already popped one of the giant bombs, so uh, they're not going to double pop the bombs. Drops the heal spell down, so the hogs have moved up to the top or under the heal spell now. The hogs that cleared out the bottom are now going to come up under the heal spell, and all the defenses are going to get cleaned out. A couple uh, spring traps go off, but it doesn't even matter. Everything's been cleaned up. He's got witches at the top doing cleanup already. He's got a wizard at the bottom uh, shooting a wall, getting in towards this gold storage, but his hogs are spread out around the base. Archer Queen's still at full health in the middle here, and everything is going to get cleaned up really fast. Barbarian King dies right at the end, and yeah, the base gets destroyed. Very nice job. Hager's won. Alright, and the uh, last attack we're going to look at today is by Mukau versus their number 12. Uh, we did have a lot of really cool attacks here, but uh, I did want to show some of the top town on nines. These are some pretty cool bases. Although this is the general, uh, the general is generally a very bad base. Uh, he hits it with a three golem goho from the south here. I've never seen the, this base attack this way, so it's really cool to see. Barbarian King comes in a little bit early. Uh, would have liked to see that been dropped a little bit later, but he wants to get a lot of these um, high HP buildings down here to make sure his archer queen gets in here and takes out a lot of things. Um, so you see that archer tower now is focused on the golems and the barbarian king. So he drops in one hog to take it out on the left side there. It's to move up and be able to take out about half that wizard tower as well which is awesome now uh, like i said his barbarian king drop, got dropped a little bit early so it does move up ahead and unfortunately the cc gets uh targeted on the barbarian king he has to use his abil ability uh really soon lightning spell goes down cleans up most of it barbarian king and these wizards in the bottom here and his archer queen clean up the rest of it uh uh, enemy Archer Queen gets taken out by his Archer, or by his Barbarian King and Archer Queen here, and the Barbarian King almost dies, but luckily takes out these Teslas. Barbarian King now moves up and is going to pop one of the giant bombs here, which is sweet, and the Golems on the right side are going to pop the other giant bomb. So now when his Hogs move through, there's no more double giant bomb threats. Uh, the heal spell goes down over the one, but the Hogs weren't even really pathed over it. He still has two heal spells left over. He probably doesn't need either of them, but now as he comes up towards his Wizard Tower, drops the second one. It's going to keep all these hogs alive as they move through here. Uh, they're going to take out that wizard tower. A couple are going to jump over the Tesla. The rest of them are going to go to this archer tower here. And the re uh, one moves up towards that top archer tower. Unfortunately, there's too much DPS there for one hog to survive. But he's got a huge pack of hogs in this can at the bottom. As they move up towards the top, drops his last heal spell. Doesn't even really need to, but, you know, you cook it for a war. You might as well use it anyway. And uh, you would really hate to lose it because or to lose the attack because all your hogs died. You didn't have cleanup. But Bar enemy barbarian king dies right at the end here uh most of these attacks the enemy barbarian king didn't die till the end you can see his barbarian king has just a sliver of health left but he is alive he's taking some lessons from the archer queen and is shooting at walls archer queen is also shooting at walls everybody's shooting at walls because that's what uh this game is about is killing walls but the base gets destroyed so very nice job moo cow all right everybody well there is your war recap for you i hope you enjoyed it this is master taint signing off saying think smart raid smart and i will see you again next time Bye bye